a little bit. Perfect. Well, Lee, you've been at Bristol Rovers quite a long time, seven years, I think. So it, how much of a big decision is this? Yeah, it was a massive decision. And um, it, took, it took a couple of months to make that decision. I sort of knew where my head was for most of the season, but it was such a big decision in terms of I did I was comfortable. I'd been there seven years. I had good friends there, like the manager. And the fa I got on well with the fans. So, yeah, it was it was, it was a massive decision. Um, and we'll soon see if it's the right one or not this year, next year. Because you'll always be a bit of a legend at Bristol Rovers now for, for obvious reasons. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. It, yeah, some people are saying that, but it is what it is. And I, I just done my job there in a, in a way, really. So, yeah, as I say, I enjoyed my time there, but it's come to an end now and I've got to look forward and not back. Wide it goes again. Oh, it's up the post. Surely it is. Lee Brown. What a moment. Bristol Rovers. Promotion. What sort of a feeling is it when you score a goal like that against Dagenham at that time when there's no coming back and you've done that? Yeah, it's special. Them... them that's why everyone plays football, I think, for them special moments. And to date, that was probably the best moment I've had in football, you know. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was a special moment. And I think it would live with me forever. Because I think once you have them special moments, you always want a bit more of them. And you, you want it to happen again. So um, that's where I'm at with that one. I sort of really enjoyed that moment, but I want more of them. Now, forget the past. It's about the future now. And, and, and how big a move is it for you? Yeah, it's... it's, it's, it's First and foremost, it's, it's exciting, you know, when you've been at a club for seven years and you come to a new club, it's, it's exciting times. It's all new signings have had to sort of come to me and now I've got to go into their club. So it's exciting. Um, I, I want success. Um, I, hopefully we can get it here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's exciting times, first and foremost. It, I, I it's a new challenge and I think I've been looking for that for a couple of years now. Do you, do you accept that the expectation here will be on a different level from what it was at Bristol Rovers? Yeah, I think uh, the expectation level at Bristol Rovers was quite high, mm. even though it, it's, it's probably not as big a club, but the, the fans that expect massive things there still in League One, they expected us to get to the Championship mm. last year and the season before. So it, it's the same here. I think at any football club, when you've got passionate fans, it's... Um, it's hard to go into a season and not want promotion or so it's, it's just natural with passionate fans um, which Bristol Rovers have and, and what, what Portsmouth have. I suppose what I meant to say is it's magnified here because of the size of it. Yeah that's it, it is magnified and I'm looking forward to that challenge to be honest with you. Um, I think the fans and the players probably have the same expectations you know no no player comes comes to this football club and expects to just be, be happy to finish mid-table or I think every player wants to kick on or they wouldn't be here. Fratton Park hasn't been a particularly happy hunting ground for you. I think you've played here three times, lost yeah. three times, had three goals against you every time and been booked twice. Yeah, no, I've scored one goal, you forgot that one. <laughs> no, but yeah, um, no, no, it hasn't for, for Bristol Rovers, it hasn't. Um, but the Fratton Park's a, a fantastic stadium with fantastic fans and when the fans get behind you here, I know as a, a player coming to coming to Fratton Park, how hard it is, you know, and they can really make a difference and what well, they obviously did against Bristol Rovers, as you say. What can we expect from you as a player? Tell us about your strengths. Oh, oh kind of you. No, just, no, um, no I'm, consistency is, is my main thing, you know. I think I've, over the past seven years I've been at Bristol Rovers, I've been f fairly consistent. Um, but yeah, it, I like to get forward. I like to get forward a lot. Um, but... But yeah, I'm consistent and like to get forward, you know, and, and still do my defensive duties at the other end, you know. So I think I've been around long enough now to know what the game's all about. And you've, had, you've been used to a few promotions over the years, so can you see any reason why that shouldn't continue here with what you've seen already? No, well, they, they finished, I think you finished eighth in the league last year, so the way the manager was talking, look, if, if you added some key additions to the squad, then where would that, where would that take you, you know? So... They've, they've already got a fantastic base finishing 8th in League One last year. So with key additions, then I don't see why it can't go to that next level. And I think that's where everyone wants to be.